All right, what's up, bro? I hope you're doing well. As you can see, we've got some upgraded equipment, and I hope the sound quality is actually a lot better than the last time. And with that, I'd like to welcome you to Forest of Legend, part number nine. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you where I've been the last week or so because I haven't uploaded, I believe, for almost two weeks now or something. I'm not certain. But the thing is, wrong. But the thing is, I think this break was pretty good to have, and overall, I honestly enjoyed just having like a week off in general. So what I've been up to is basically building my foundations, and I've realized that my foundations aren't that good. Like, I'm often getting distracted. I'm often just not not getting stuff done. So. I worked a little bit on my foundations, and honestly, this week has been pretty damn good, because I've just been looking at things that I haven't been looking at before, mainly religion, and through that I decided, like, hey, this is how you build up your foundations, I suppose. So yeah, that's what I've been up to, mainly. There's a car coming. Let the car pass. And, yeah, that's basically it for that. Other than that, I've been collecting some YouTube ideas, writing some scripts, and I don't know if I said this the last time, but I want to upgrade the quality of content I make and reduce the quantity in compensation. So, the break is basically over. Like, I'm gonna get back to doing stuff. And... While school has started, I certainly do think that I have enough time and have, like, everyone has enough time. Just, there are people that don't want to invest enough time into what they are passionate about. So time shouldn't be too much of a problem. And, yeah, I'm going to get to making some good videos again. Also going to stop making shorts because, honestly, the ROI on shorts is not exactly high. There's, like what a few views every short they take they take quite a bit of uh, effort to make like three to four hours if you combine everything inclusive recording editing everything and i do not think that it's worth it coincidentally i think we i think we got a very very good day to record this video like look at like look at this freaking weather holy shit would you look at that I think it's wonderful. Fun fact, this mic, I think the quality on it's pretty good. Like, I tested it out at home and I was like, damn. This has like zero, back, like almost zero background noise. Like, you may be hearing the wind right now. But I think that's about the extent it will go to. And I was like, this thing for 30 bucks, you heard me right, 30 bucks. And this high quality, this is pretty damn nuts. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And it's it's small and compact like this. It has the cable, and here's the rest. I don't know if you could see it. Like it's a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit annoying to drag around with you, sure. <laughs> and people are gonna look at you a little bit weird. But I think it's pretty good. Like I already had this guy on a, like we have scooters here in Germany, like with the power of electricity, don't know if you guys know that, but they just like go forward like uh, it's like a bike basically but you don't have to do anything, you just press the button. And he just looked at me like, oh what the, <laughs> why is he got a freaking mic in his hand with a phone? But who cares honestly, like I've, I've just stopped caring because I'm only going to like really take advice or take note of the things that people say when those people are like actually close to me so like family friends you know the drill those are the people i'm really going to take advice from and if they judge me then i'm going to take it a little bit more seriously someone else judges me i'm just gonna think like i don't really care bro i don't really care so yeah That's basically what I've been up to. I think 
there's going to be some videos about uh, red foundations as well. That that's going to be a it's going to be a pretty big video. And overall, I think that that is a big big flaw that many people have. I'm not going to get too much into it because the video will talk about it, but many people just don't have good foundations and they just start like you, you know Maslow's pyramid. They don't start at the bottom, but they start at like the third most thing from the top. So they just move up several levels with ignoring the first like two or something. And I think that's the equivalent of just building on sand. The Bible says it that says it pretty well in my opinion. Matthew seven twenty four. And those who hear us these sayings of mine and do of them, I will liken him unto a wise man. <laughs> a wise man who builds his house upon a rock. So you build your foundations solidly. And then the winds blew and beat upon the house. I don't know the exact quote, but something like that. And it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock. I think that's one of the best, uh, best passages of the whole Bible, because holy shit, that completely sums up what uh, what I have learned over the last few days. And I'm not saying that my foundations now in that one week are like completely rock. Like they're still gonna fall sometimes. They aren't like completely stormproof or uh, windproof, but I think they have uh, definitely upgraded since I've taken it a little bit more seriously. Because honestly, how should I say it? I think like I was getting distracted a lot. And I'm not saying I'm not getting distracted anymore, because I'm certainly getting distracted. This week, I believe I played like five hours of video games, maybe more, maybe less, I don't really know. But still, I got a lot more work done than I do usually, because my work phases were a lot less in, less interrupted by anything. I just learned a lot from a lot of courses and YouTube videos. And overall, I think that was a very valuable experience because now, now that my foundations are built upon religion, I think that's a big part of what's going to give me the power, the power to persist. No, just kidding. But I do feel that it is a big strength, strength source and one that will definitely benefit me in the long run. So yeah. And that is overall it for foundations. Then also reading Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. I was I was reading the Blue Ocean strategy and I was like, bro, this thing does this thing is boring as fuck. Like I don't really need this right now. And Can't Hurt Me, holy shit, that book is great. Like at the beginning, I was a little bit hesitant because I was like, yeah, he's just telling about a story. I've already heard some podcasts. I shouldn't really care that much. But after that, I was like, ooh, okay. That's pretty cool. Like, after page 100, the pace really picks up. Mostly, I believe, like, turn happens when he goes to the Navy SEALs the first time. If you haven't read that book, then man, I think you really need to get it. Either get the book, the book book, or get the ebook. The ebook, I haven't listened to that. Uh, not the ebook, the audiobook, I might say. I haven't listened to the audiobook. But I've heard a lot of good things about it, because I suppose David is doing a pretty good job of narrating that. What are these noises, bro? There's like, there's like some fucking bird or something going on in the background. There's like a... what, what does this do? Is this like a zoom? Yeah, this is a zoom, okay. And overall... I think that that book just makes you, like, like, just by reading it, it makes you tougher. I do not know how to explain it, because if you haven't read that book, I can't really tell you that much, but if you have, I think you will agree with that statement. 
and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna share some lessons about that as well because honestly, I do think that we're not giving it our best. Like yesterday, even when I was working out, I held a you know the monk stance. It's basically like doing a squat but holding it at the bottom part. I held it for a little bit over four minutes, and I just thought like I could probably have done better. Like at the end, I was I couldn't stand up for the next like three minutes or something, but at like afterwards, like thirty minutes later, I was like I could have done that better. I could have done more. I do not think that, that was the full potential that I gave it because. I don't know. I do. I really don't know. David says in this book that we usually just give like forty percent of what we have, and that's basically about it. Like we don't give more than forty percent; it just ends there. But if you go beyond that forty percent, beyond that pain threshold, you get to sixty, you get to seventy, you get to eighty, and then that's when you get the real progress. Most people just stop at forty percent, and honestly, I do not think that it was forty yesterday, but it was more like fifty to sixty. Like, like it was, it was more than forty. I wanted to stop at like three minutes, but held it for like four twenty. Yeah, four twenty. And it made me realize that I'm not, I'm not giving it my best at the moment. Like I have good foundations. I have enough support, like family, friends, you know, they're always behind me, and I'm really grateful for that. But I'm not giving it my best, like, actively. And I think that's something that I really need to change, because if I don't, then I think I'll always be stuck in this slower progress. Which is fine, you know, like, I'm trying, but I'm not trying my best. And that's absurd, that's pissing me off a little bit, not gonna lie. So that is basically the main goal. And you can use this for yourself. Like, are you really pushing yourself? Are you really going at it? When you're working out in the gym, are you like giving it everything? Or are you like, yeah, these 10 sets, uh, these 10 repetitions are really hard. I'm just gonna stop at repetition eight. What if you instead just bit your tongue and do it until 15? <laughs> Try that next time. Sure, it's gonna be hard. Sure, you're gonna work your ass off and you're gonna be sweating like buckets. But still, why not try that out? That's the thing that's gonna make you stronger. That's the that's the thing that's gonna make you into the man that you want to be. And not the thing that's gonna be like, okay, let's stop here. I've had enough already. I don't really I don't really wanna get success that much anyway. And that voice is actually a lot more prominent than we expected. Oh, the mic's coming out. So that's that's the main thing that I think you can really take away from Can't Hurt Me. And I think it's a I think that book delivers it very well. So yeah, that's overall all I have to say to that topic. I'm not ending the video though. Like this place, place is freaking wonderful, man. I, I think I picked, like, hands down, I picked the best freaking day. I do not know. Like, yesterday, yesterday was hot as fuck. I do not know if it's any other way anywhere else. But here it was like 30, 35 degrees. And this is just a prediction. In the Northern Hemisphere, so like Europe and maybe USA as well, I think there's gonna be like a what is it called a delayed summer so to speak because here in Germany it was pretty cold and it was pretty damn rainy for like half the summer for like three to four weeks straight it was like rain it was cold like not cold but it was like 15 degrees which is not exactly summer temperature and I just thought to myself there's probably going to be a delayed summer because that weather does not make sense for July. Like you don't have to put on like a jacket to go outside in July usually. So I think like September is going to be the hottest month of this of this whole year. At least in where I live. I do not know how it is with other 
parts of the world. But I guess we shall find out. Just a prediction. So yeah, so I don't know, I'm gonna... I'm probably going to die. Like, like no jokes. Because I, I cannot tolerate the warmth. Found some goat boys. Let me show you. Would you look at that? Look. I don't know if you can see him. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Found some good old goats. There you go. There they are on that rock. Pull up. Just want to show you this goats. I don't really know. Like I, I was really, I'm really bad at just like holding the camera the right way. I do not know why. But anyway, I came here to get some eggs, so I'm gonna stop the video here. I'll be back in a single moment. All right, we're back. Bought some eggs. Goats are still looking at me like I'm Satan or something. Because you know, goats are goat, goats are Satan's servants. Just kidding. Anyway. What was I on about? Oh yeah. I think I actually finished talking about David Goggins. Other than that, that guy's pretty insane. And honestly, I think he serves as a pretty good example that we can go beyond the limits. There will be a video about that, in a sense, as well. You shall see in the next few weeks, I think. Because there are two there are two videos that I want to have up before that one. One is upon a mentality that I've coined the whatever mentality. Which I think is pretty good. And then there is also another one. Which will be about foundations. Those two videos are currently my main focus. One of the scripts is completely written, one of the scripts will come soon enough. And yeah, we shall, we shall see, I suppose. I wonder what wisdom... wonder what wisdom is going to be the main thing in them that people will take away. I really don't know. Because those videos, while they will be about a single top topic, there'll be a, there'll be some information about different things in there. I just noticed that I really need to get back to talking on camera because while it doesn't feel completely out of What's it called? Like, out of order. It is certainly different when you take a week's break and then get back to it. Uh oh, I think, I think. No, I didn't. I thought the mic unplugged itself. Because I've, the jack on this phone is like really deep. So, the if the mic, so if the cable goes like one millimeter up, it basically just just unplugs the mic. Which is a little bit, a little bit annoying. But who gives a shit? Like, the sound quality is gonna be a little bit bad for a few moments, but then it's gonna return to normal. I guess we shall see. Well, and I suppose. I suppose that I just need to get back into practice because practice is the thing that makes perfect, isn't it? And this is the moment where we arrive where I don't really know what to say. But I guess we'll just roll with it this time. Again, I think I made the same mistake that I made last time. Like, I made topics that I can talk about, which is what I've been recently up to, 
what I'm gonna do, what the next videos are, which are gonna be coming out, I believe in the next like two weeks. But I, uh, yeah, I overestimated how long it's gonna talk, uh, how, how long it's gonna take to talk about them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's a mistake on my part. I'm just looking around the whole time because I've got a feeling that like there's a there's gonna be a deer somewhere. It's gonna be like that's a human. That's a human. I need to run away. But apparently, I d I'm not having much luck today. Although, here's some here is some sound from over there. Might just be birds. Might be a squirrel. Might be a squirrel. I don't know. But who knows? Looks like this, by the way. There you go. They cut out this whole freaking forest. Like, there's, there's still some stuff left in here. But, like, honestly, they cut out a forest here. There is some, there is some bushes that are regrowing, which is very nice to see. Because, other than, like, other than those, it would be a barren landscape. Like, there would just not be anything on it. But I still think, but I still think it's sad to see that it's, uh... Those trees are just dying off by the hundreds, by the thousands a day. Let me also tell you why eggs are the best thing that you can eat, in my opinion at least. Unless you're allergic. If you're allergic, then maybe take a step away. One. They're probably one of the best protein sources out there. But two, they're very natural. Like, it's not like whey protein. Whey protein has some pretty bad side effects. Like, yeah, we're, we're gonna get big. We're gonna get some whey protein. But uh, do you also know that it decreases your testosterone? Do you also know that it just de-energizes you completely? You just think it's like prolactin rising up? I do not know. I feel like that's a that's a trade-off that you should not take just to build some muscle. And overall, I just see it as a shortcut. Because if you think about it, you take whey protein, you're like, yeah, let's go. It's gonna be great. But in the end, it's just not going to serve you. Let's be real here. So yeah. Take eggs. Eggs are amazing. One, they taste pretty good. Two, they're very customizable. Like you can, like you can, you can be like me and add fucking honey on them. Honey on eggs sounds like a stupid idea, but it tastes pretty good. Like I'm not even joking. And th number three is that you can cook them how you want them. You can make them scrambled, although that loses a little bit of the what is it nutritional value. And overcooking them as well it does the same. So I just like to make them fried, put it in, like crack the eggs, put it in, and go for like two minutes or something on medium to high heat. That usually gets the job done. Talking about that, they are also very quick to make. If you want even more information, go watch my video on the best breakfast that you can make in under 10 minutes because it really is that way like that, is, that title isn't even clickbait that's just the way it is and since eating eggs every freaking day for breakfast other than Saturday because Saturday there's special food aka pizza I've really noticed that my energy levels are higher I've noticed that my performance is higher in terms of like the gym, in terms of concentration even. Basically in terms of everything you do, your performance is probably going to be enhanced. And you can, like, it's not exactly a difficult meal. Like anyone can make eggs, 
Like, if I can make it, then you can make it. It's pretty simple. So, yeah. And that is all I have to say to eggs. Other meals that I really think you should try out is... Uh, what is it called? Fuck, I don't know the name. I'm gonna... I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in the next Forest of Legend. I don't know the name. I only know it's in a different language. No, the, the, I, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get it today. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. So that's a bit of a cliffhanger, isn't it? I'm so I'm I'm sorry for that. I'm really sorry. But I guess I'll make it up to you next time. The thing that I really need to get better at is like just to plan a lot more in detail because here we are right now and I don't really know what to say to you like I wish I had some like cool thing to say like I could tell you about like what I've been like like personal stories and stuff <laughs> but I don't really know if that's something you really care about because this is this is basically the YouTube channel Maybe like some personal stories that connect to the videos themselves. Maybe like for the foundations, I can tell you like what my life was like without good foundations and what happens if you don't have those good foundations. But here, I don't really know what I could choose as a good example to illustrate what I'm saying because I'm not saying very much. This is, these videos are mainly just for getting better on camera, for having like a little bit more fluent speech for having a little bit more eye contact with the camera. Although it is a little bit hard because I need to look at the road, so no fucking car comes and runs me over. And also just looking at the landscape because that's pretty beautiful. So I don't really, I don't really know how to improvise something with content, which is actually like valuable and provides something of, provides something of use for you. Moo, there's some cows. So I guess we'll just have to see. I think I'll have to plan these videos out a little bit more to just have something to talk about. Because while I could like... No wait, I, have a, I actually have a good idea. <laughs> I have like some old scripts on the, uh, from YouTube, like YouTube scripts for a few videos that just didn't release because I just thought like these videos aren't gonna be that good. So I might as well just go ahead and put the scripts into these forms of legend videos because honestly, why not have them out there? This the, these forms of legend videos are, are for the reason that there's like these are like unedited. These are just me talking about random stuff. And overall, I think that those those could fit in pretty well here, because I've either I'm, they're just gonna stay there for the end of, till the end of time, or I could use them in these videos, get camera skills a little bit better, speak a little bit better about things, and internalize the knowledge even more in a different format than usual on YouTube. So I. Yes, that's um, that's what I'm gonna do next time. And to think this is Forest of Legend Part Nine already, it's kind of crazy to be honest, <laughs> because it feels like I started this channel yesterday. Look at these roses, by the way. They look pretty good. Did I just lower the volume? Stop the video that much for certain. I think this upgrade for the mic is something that's really, really beneficial because if you if you also have like a content creation channel, I think the audio quality is a very vital. Like my phone isn't exactly great on audio quality. You've heard it in my past videos. <laughs> I think I don't need to go that much into detail, but overall, I think it's very, very good. It was, as I said, 30 bucks to this audio quality outside. Think of the audio quality in a room. 
because this is going to be a big game changer. There's no more background static, which honestly annoyed me quite a lot in my past videos. Because to be fair, I think that static really takes away from the video itself. I all like you can easily hear it. Not just in mine. But like when other people have videos that have static in the background, it immediately turns you off. And I was like, yeah, I need to I need to change something about this. So I got a lav mic. And I think these these boys right here. I think these are one of the best investments in terms of mics because they're very portable. You can just put them on your clothes and start talking. All you have to do is connect it. And that's very simple to do. And honestly, like, yeah, look, going around the street like this is a little bit weird, certainly. But I think it's, I think it's a lot better than having like wind blowing in every two seconds and you not being able to hear anything. So if you're a fellow content creator, this is this is one of the best investments that you can make. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna link the one that I got down in the description. <clears throat> I'm gonna have the Amazon link in Germany. You just have to search. You just have to search up the uh, what is it? The mic model in your country, and then you'll probably find it. Because I found it. I found this one in the, in a USA store like the Amazon USA store. I just put in the name on uh, Amazon Germany and it came out. So unless you live in like, I don't know, <laughs> unless you live in like Ukraine right now, then you should probably be able to get it. Sorry that the dark humor just came out for a moment. I am terribly sorry. I'm probably gonna get cancelled for that, right? <laughs> like, like imagine if a video like this blew up, and I was like, "Oh, he, he made fun of Ukraine." <laughs> I think that would be a pretty good reflection of what this world is coming to. But anyway, I'm going to stop the video right here because I'm getting back into this city. And overall, I am very grateful if you watched this far. Make sure to share this video if you liked it. And if you could uh, recommend it to someone, then go for it. So yeah, peace be upon you. I shall see you next time.